Hey guys, what is up? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. So, let's just begin. First, you're going to click on this new icon. So, the name, you can just set it as Windows 95. And since I have an another Windows 95, as you can see right there, I'm going to name it Windows 95 2. Next. You can leave this as the default. You can adjust the settings, but I'm going to leave it at the regular 64 megabyte and the one CPU. Then you want to select create a virtual hard disk now. I'm just going to leave it at the regular 2 gigs and finish. Then you're going to go to settings and then under the storage tab, go to the empty disk image and click this little icon here, choose a disk file. Now I'm going to provide this ISO in the link in the description so you can download this for yourself. Open. And OK. Now we can start. OK, so you should be in here. Excuse that. Now you should be at this MS DOS prompt here with the A. So First, what you're going to want to type is fdisk. Just press yes. One, one. Yes. Just press escape. And then your host key, then R to reset. Next, what you're going to want to do is format. C. Yes. Just press enter. And there you go. So, now we can run the setup. So, just type in whatever your CD thing is. It could be R, X, or E. Mine is R. So I'm going to type that, and then type setup, press enter, and there you go. Just close that, and it'll say, welcome to Windows 95 setup. Congratulations on your choice of Windows 95. So just click continue. Yes. Okay, so then next, just select the regular C windows. Typical. And now you're going to want to enter in a product key. Once you have that, you're going to be at the user information. So just type your name. You don't have to type a company if you don't want to. Analyzing computer, you can check network adapter. I'm just going to check sound, media, or video capture card. And now it's just going to analyze your computer. And remember, if it's and remember, as you see here, if if it doesn't, if it stops responding for a while, just turn, just reset the virtual machine with host key R, turn back on, run setup, and choose safe recovery when prompted. So I'm just going to let this be.
So now it's going to ask you for the Windows components. You can customize through a list of them, but I'm just going to choose install the most common components. Select no, I do not want to start a disk. Now it's just going to copy files. And I'll just leave this be. And now it's just going to finish setup. So just click finish. It'll just say setup to test a, a disk in your floppy drive. So you just go to devices, floppy drives, and there's nothing in there. But... Okay. Okay, so for me, it boots up into the little prompt. So, you shouldn't have to do this, but I'm just going to reset the virtual machine, go to boot options, and then press 1 for the hard disk. And now it's just going to say, <clears throat> you must provide the work group names. Just call it Win95. I'm just going to call it Win95. Close. You, you guys might get this error, but... You also might not, so don't mind the errors for a second. It's long. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them. Now it's just going to set up the items. You guys shouldn't be getting that error, but I personally did. And I live in the Atlantic Canada time zone. Add printer. Now you can run it, but I'm not gonna do that. Click OK to restart your computer now. Just press OK. Then I'll reset. And then I'll just start with a 95. You guys shouldn't be getting this error. Like this one right here. This one. And as you see, it automatically installed the sound drivers. So here you go. This is Windows 95. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more tutorials. And yeah, and I will see you later.